He's one of the original market makers in the SPX trading pit, uh, regular contributor on Fox, CNBC, BNN, Kitco, Bloomberg. So uh, you probably will recognize him, but I want I want to point out, not only is he a seasoned pro, but he's also an advocate for financial literacy, and he created a program for high school students to help them learn how to trade the markets, and I really think that's a fabulous, fabulous awesome. thing to do. So, Bubba, I'm going to uh, let you take it away here, and he told me to wave. He was teasing me on my phone. Was setting <laughs> up. <laughs> I, was, I was blushing when you were talking. <laughs> What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, you? we're doing great. We hear you well, and we also see your slide. And I enjoyed uh, listening to uh, what was his name Bruce or Brian. He was good. It was probably I liked it. It's all good. So, anyways, I, can I start now, or should I wait? Do we, do we chit chat for a while? How do we do this? No, boy, the floor is right. Your is yours. Take it away, Bubba. All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome aboard. It's, it's great to be here, and, and thanks, Pat and Raleigh, and I think that's Nikki with, with Pat that. Uh, are here, so thank you all for having me. It's, it's great to be a part of this event. And, uh, you know, as Pat said, and you'll see a little bit later, but this is actually my 41st year. I, I spent 30 years trading on the floor. But in the meantime, what I found is I, I think this is the next big thing, which is the micro and mini futures. I think this is the direction of markets, and I think it's by far one of the best products I've ever seen. And it creates some great opportunity uh, to get involved in portfolio trading. So without further ado, I, the first thing I have to do is I have to give you the disclaimer. You guys can read it, but you know, it talks about risk and all the other stuff. But uh, me, I don't, I don't read it. You can look at it. I give you about three seconds. But one of the things we, we worry about in trading in general is emotion. And the key to trading success is emotional discipline. If intelligence were the key, there'd be a lot more people making money trading. And of course, trading is a very, very tough business. It has nothing to do with, with what you have learned in school. It has everything to do with what you understand about yourself. And if, you, if you've ever heard of Richard Dennis or the Turtles, you know, this is a better model than that, but that is what this was based on. And I actually traded with Richard Dennis uh, at the CBOE. And what he found out is that he could hire anybody as long as you can follow the rules. And that's one thing we talk about all the time. And just, I get notes all the time, but this came from Cornell University, one of the professors there, very impressive market price action. Yours is the best in the world, most consistent methodology, most rigorous drop the emotions. Don't listen to pundits who comment uh, casually based on reading the news. And again, these are things that we worry about all the time because we have a saying here at Bubba Trading, if you trade the news, you lose, okay? And that's what it comes down to. The price action that is built in the markets will tell you the news long before it ever shows up in the market. And as I always say, uh, I have great Chicago English. There ain't no such thing as a free lunch, okay? You get nothing for nothing. You've got to learn to do things properly, and you bring yourself into an opportunity to make lots of money, but you have to, first of all, train yourself to be in the market and understand the pitfalls and things that happen during market swings. You know, we've all seen all the, there's all these special secret indicators and magic and how it works. There ain't. There's no, there's no secret. There's one secret to trading, okay? There's one secret to investing, and that is the discipline. No matter what you do, okay, if you cannot follow rules, if you cannot be consistent at what you're doing, you are never going to make money in the long run. It's that simple, okay? Now, the first thing I always like to talk about is there's going to be drawdowns, okay? There is no way to avoid them. Anybody who sells elsewise is a liar. Okay. Drawdowns are part of this business. I mean, drawdown is really your next profit-based building. Okay. And you'll see, I'm going to show you live portfolios today, and you'll see the equity curve we track with. And every time we've had a big drawdown, we've gone on to make new equity highs. But if you don't understand that part of it, then you're going to have a problem in the markets in general, because that's why people panic and puke out when they let the drawdown get in their way, not understanding what they're trying to get done. The magic is inside you. There, there ain't no crystal balls. Again, there's no secrets out there that are magic other than using the right base and the right formula, which is what we actually have figured out. But again, there's still going to be the same pitfalls that will take winners and turn them into losers because they can't understand. 
and they cannot control that person they look at the mirror every morning when they wake up. Now, I am Todd Bubba Horowitz. I've been doing this, this is my 41st year. Okay, I've written two books on options and one coming out on futures soon. As Pat said, I already contribute, but the key here is every trade that ever comes out of my office, I'm in it, okay? I'm there right next to you. So when I send results, you know the results I send are based on my actual trading and the actual numbers that we do. Now in the, in the mini micro space now, which is an offshoot of futures, it's a, it's, it's a derivative of the bigger futures, the capital efficiency is unbelievable. Okay, margins are, are, are next to nothing, okay? You get to diversify classes, you get great tax benefits when you're trading futures, plus the fact that you have no day trading re requirements, okay? There's no day trade restriction when trading futures. So somebody with a $5,000 account could actually leverage up 100,000 at any one time, make that, take that trade off and re-enter again and do it 50 times a day. I mean, I've already traded today myself over 300 contracts, okay, in the futures market. With as busy it is because of what's going on in the markets today. But what we like to look at is micros and minis, I think are what we call the next big thing. Because using the models that we've created, using the algorithms that we've created, okay, these play purely on one thing, okay? And this is where it becomes important for you to understand. The logic of probability, learn the rules, for reasoning what the problem is. And again, if you can understand that, and you can bring yourself to say, okay, I'm gonna finally, after all these years of trying, I'm gonna work myself and I'm gonna follow the rules exactly. If you do that, you will be successful, okay? But again, it comes back to you because all, we tra all we're all we trading is a probability model. Okay? And I'm gonna give you the win rate, I'm gonna give you all the information you need, but again, you have to be able to follow rules and understand the probability based on the numbers that are there and they're right in front of you because I can take any system and make it a winner because I understand how to use the numbers to make that win. But what we have here now is a much higher probability and it makes it again, easier to stomach everything that goes on within markets day to day. Now, if you're mechanically trading, which is what we're doing, the major reason traders lose money is in the long run because they miss trades, let losses run, in trades there and take profits far too early on the winners. Now, I, I'm sure nobody here has ever done that before, but it happens all the time. And many people take what they wanted to be as a quick trade and turn into a, a, an investment because it was a loser. And they take an investment, they turn into a trade because it was a quick winner. Again, you have to understand what you're trying to accomplish on everything and you never want to hold on to a long-term loser. My method does none of the three, therefore our odds of winning are greatly enhanced and proven by real-time performance. We cannot miss a major move in any market. We do not let losses run and we always let profits run. That is because the algorithm was designed to do exactly those three things. Now, if you've ever trend traded before, in trend trading, price is everything. Okay? It doesn't matter, all markets are the same. Okay, but let's be clear about one thing. Every market is exactly the same as any other market. Okay? They're all driven by price. That's all that you have to worry about. You have to ignore the news. Now I know it's hard because they're blasting your ear every other minute, which is why during the day I'm watching, unfortunately there's no baseball right now, but soon it'll be back. And of course, Wednesdays and Thursdays are good day baseball. I watch a lot of reruns during the day. I don't watch the news unless I'm on that day. Okay? You buy a future when it breaks out of range, you sell it when the trend changes. Don't get out before the trend changes. You have to stick to the system, okay? Because success equals long-term profitability. We know that anything can happen day to day, okay? Again, there's no way to predict what exactly will happen tomorrow. We know that if we follow the rules, then we're not gonna worry. And half the days, I don't even look at my own portfolio. We have a huge edge in trend following. We can eliminate all emotions if you allow us to. The long, it's a long-term solution to a short-term problem, and that is algorithmic trading, okay? So today, we're gonna to talk about our objectives, managed futures, it's the math, the portfolios, how you can take advantage, and of course, I will answer any question you have about trading, because I've traded every market in the world, including the weather. I could trade without knowing the name of the market, that's Richard Dennis. Now again, why is he saying that? Because again, we don't care what the market is, 
the markets trade in phases. Every market trades the same way. They may not trade the same way at the same time, but they always trade the same way. So the market itself is immaterial. Why professional traders use rule-based trading system? Well, because if you're using rules, what it does for you is it puts you in a position that there is no decision-making where you start to give some thought. Because when you start thinking about things, you talk yourself out of making the right decision. So if every decision that you make is automatic, then you never have to worry about making the wrong decision because you are following the rules. Okay, it's very important that you sit and you follow rules only because if you can't follow rules, you're gonna find yourself having trouble making money in the long run, no matter what system you use, okay? Everything we do has to have somewhat be rule-based so that you put yourself and take out the human element of decision-making when it comes under the pressure because we've all done things in our lives and the easiest thing to look at is if you've ever had an argument with a friend, a spouse, whatever, there are times I'm sure we've all said something that the minute you push those words out of your mouth, you wish you could jam them back in, you know, like that bubble in a cartoon. Unfortunately, you can't. That's why everything has to be driven by rules without emotion. Okay? Now, the rules you must follow to win with algorithmic mechanical trading, you must have no opinions about the market. Zero, none, and nada. Okay? And I don't, I do have an opinion, all right? And a lot of times I'm on the other side of my opinion because I have to have one when I'm on air. But again, when I'm trading, I have zero opinion. If you violate rule number one, you will lose money trading. A trend is the basis of all profit. If you do not understand this, you should not be trading. If you pay attention to the news, you will lose money trading. If for one minute you think you know more than the market, price is too high or too low, the market will take your money. It will always punish traders with such hubris. We never sell at the top, nor do we buy at the bottoms. That is for fools who insist on being right as opposed to making money. If the market is going higher and you are short. The market is right and you are wrong. If you are long and the market is going down, you are wrong. The objective in mechanical trading is to mirror the market. You want to always be doing what it is doing. If you do, you will put the high probabilities on your side. And trend mechanical trading gives you a statistical edge you cannot obtain anywhere else. Profitable traders understand that edges are essential to long-term profitability. And that, again, is what we know, and that's what I learned in 1980 when I first started. That was the first lesson I learned, okay, is to get, you have to be able to get the edge on your side, which then increases your chances and your probabilities of winning. Okay. Here's just another name. I got this a couple days ago. Your forecasting comment is flat out excellent, Bubba. I've been able to check my emotions and follow your algorithm exclusively. And all my results are hard to believe. I trade three contracts of the 28K that started in April of last year. Those 12 months since, I have profited over just 100,000. I look at performance. I'm simply astounded at the results. I cannot thank you enough. You and your algorithm have been a blessing to me and my family. Just wanted to know how much I appreciate your passion for what you do. And I, you'll find out. If you come with me, I'm very passionate and I can be very nasty too because I'm a, I'm a tough coach. Right? I do a lot of training. Hey, uh, hey, Bubba, this is Raleigh. I'm, I'm, I'm breaking in just for a minute because I was wondering if there's a way that you could get a little closer to your microphone or jack up your volume because you're saying some great stuff, but you're just a little bit oh, soft. Is that, is that better? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my smoke. Hold on. I, I thought I was good, but I, you tell me how is the bio. Tell me yeah. better. Yes, that's that's much better. And once again, I hated to derail your your you presentation the there, I'm but it, <laughs> you're a tough coach. We're a tough audience. I mean, maybe I can <laughs> I, I can adjust that. I, I always try to make sure since I don't get to see this audience, I don't know if there's a problem, but it's all good. All yeah. Right. So if you could just jack it a little bit, we should be good, buddy. Right, you just tell me. Just interrupt me anytime. I won't lose my my place. That sounds good right there. Whatever you're doing right now sounds good. All Perfect. right, buddy. I'll let you go. Thanks, Riley. Okay, so, you know, if you've seen futures before, and every problem always with futures in the past was they were worried about getting 5,000 soybeans delivered to their house, and, and the contracts were too big, the risk was too big. Well, they've taken from the regular futures contracts, the ones that are now micros are one-tenth the size, okay? So you can build a much bigger position. It gives you the ability to trade without the fear 
and without being worried too quickly of how fast they move because of the obviously the contract size. Now, me personally, I trade our biggest portfolios with multiple contracts, but I also have the same portfolios that we're going to look at today with one contract, which but our goals are always to get to more. But again, because of the size of one tenth, that's what allows anybody who wants to play in this arena to get involved. Now, any of you, some of you, I know I, from listening to the last call, I'm assuming a lot of options traders here. Uh, if you remember when the CBOE tried to do the micro options, which was 10, 10 shares on like Amazon and Apple and things like that, it failed. Why did it fail? Because they didn't reduce the execution cost or the commissions. Well, in the micros, they had reduced all fees by a tenth as well. So you, you can now trade freely and be liquid because the biggest key is to have your expenses can now out, out, outrank your, your, your profits. So that's what makes these work so well because everybody did the right thing. And this was the biggest launch in the CME's history. Okay. The mini, micro minis were the biggest launch in their history of any product. Now, our objectives is we're only guided by rules. Okay. We have defined entry and exit timelines. Okay? We set them and forget them. Okay. We don't use gut instinct. Okay. We don't have any choices based on, I don't know, Bollinger Bands or Itching Book Cloud or whatever, whatever, whatever you want to put. We have none of that. Okay. None of that comes into play for us. Okay. Because again, when you start bringing in too many things that you think about, it creates a bad decision. And believe it or not, for many, it creates an opinion you might not even realize that you have. Okay. So our objectives are what? To make money. I mean, obviously, if you're going to listen to me for an hour, you're here to make money, not to hear me talk, right? So again, we all want to make money. That's, that's what we're here. That's what we do, okay? Now, we also try to keep the variance small. Now, again, we cannot predict that or always control that, but our variance is, you know, the way these portfolios are designed are to keep the variance as small. We're, we try to be somewhat balanced using a multitude of products, and of course, we want to keep the drawdown small, okay? Now, Good trend following system will keep you in the market until there's evidence that the trend has changed. Now, it's very interesting. You'll see right now when you actually see the portfolios, but we got long the equities back in March, right after the big collapse. And then we reversed last Thursday when the market was down in the S&P, the Dow, and the Russell. And we're, we're still long the NASDAQ, believe it or not, which has been obviously a powerhouse. And that tells you how powerful of a system and a method that we're using. Okay. If greater way to diversify, which could be achieved without big bucks, with our big one, our 220 now you can have a position in a, a large number of markets with a minimal risk. And that's where we want, that's what we went to because our original model was a $226,000 portfolio. Okay. And we developed these, these smaller portfolios because again, I'm a big believer on helping everybody. I want everybody to be able to play who wants the opportunity to play, okay? So some of the portfolios you'll see will have, you know, grains, they'll have metals, they'll have energy, equities, interest rates, and currencies. Because again, that gives you a well-rounded portfolio. Now they can all trend in the same direction at one given time. They can all go uh, opposite, okay? Again, we don't know, but again, most of the time, these will help be well-rounded, and most of the time, they will continue to grind out profits on a regular basis. Trading has taught me not to take the conventional wisdom for granted. What money I made in trading is, is a testament to the fact that the majority is wrong a lot of the time. The vast majority is wrong even more of the time. I've learned that markets, which are often just mad crowds, are often irrational, when emotionally overwrought, they're almost always wrong. And of course, if you remember trading places, the orange is seen, but that scene, although the prices were a little ridiculous, uh, was pretty real. I mean, that was kind of what the floor was like when you were on the trading floor. And one of the things we always had in the trading floor is if you can see somebody's tonsils, which means they were yelling a lot, give them whatever they want because they're wrong. Okay. So it's very important to understand what we're talking about and making sure that you can follow everything we do. Now, we've all heard of the family office and things like that. Now, again, you know what a family office is. It's, it's a usually a big conglomerate of, uh, of big, big, big money investors that 
I mean, most of us can never, you know, can't even dream about. Well, that's what we tried to create. We tried to mimic, okay, so that all of our members can play in the big boys or big girls arena. Okay, so it allows them the opportunity to be along and grow and grow and grow. And that's what we're trying to do. We, we'd like everybody to play. And we, our goal is to get you from one country to two, from two to three, three to four, and so on and so forth, so we can continue to, to take a little investment and make it into a lot of money over time. And this is another note. Thank you for making the changes to the 72K. You are so successful, yet still take care of the little guys. You're always ahead of the game. I admire that your inspiration to me, you an example to follow. Thank you. Again, I get those daily. Okay. The next big thing, and that's what we're here, which is if you're a Seinfeld fan, this is gold, okay? If you remember, this is gold, Jerry. Money is not the most important thing in the world. Love is, fortunately, I love money, okay? And I do, okay? So think probabilities, not possibilities. Again, if you just look at the straight math, okay? And it's not calculated, it's not, it's not uh, fancy math, it's straight, you know, okay? It's, it's extended one way, it's extended the other way. We don't need Fibonacci numbers. We don't need all kinds of crazy numbers to look at. They're straight numbers. And one of the things that is very important in trading is to understand what your win rate is, okay? And your win rate is how many, if you make 10 trades, how many you win? What is your average win? Well, our method over thousands and thousands and thousands of trades is 66%, okay? So we hit 66% of our trades. Now, that doesn't mean we had 6.6 .6 out of every 10, okay? Or 66 out of 100, but over the law of large numbers, we're gonna hit 66%. And what does that mean to you? That means you're gonna make a lot of money. That's what it means when it comes back down to, if you can tie in following the rules, understanding the drawdown, all those things that go along with it, you're gonna hit 66% of these trades, okay? And that's, again, that's the best number I've ever seen in this industry, you know, but one of the problems we have is what? Amateur traders wanna be right, pro traders wanna make money, okay? And I think, Many of you might look in the mirror and say, you know what? I have been trying to be right versus what, what my real objective is, which is to make money. I always say you can publish rules in a newspaper and no one would follow them. The key is consistency and discipline. Again, Richard Dennis, again, he, if, you, if you don't know what he did, he took uh, about 20 people from all varied backgrounds, including a couple of janitors, a couple of Harvard grads, and he said, these are the rules. And the ones that follow the rules made a lot of money, okay? And it changed their lives. Now, we talk about and care about a profit factor. Now, what is a profit factor? Basically, it's just the amount of money you've invested versus the amount of money you made and lost. And a very successful profit factor is two to one, two and a half to one. Ours are typically at 10 plus, okay? Now, they'll go up and down, but they're typically, and you'll see them again. These are, you'll see all real numbers. Okay. Now, the birth of this whole business was our, our. And I put them, I put them back. Oh, I forgot. I put it in the wrong portfolio. Oh, anyways. Oh no, I'm sorry. This is right. Okay. This is the 226 portfolio. Okay. This is the big one that we originally started. This has been going. This portfolio has been live for about nine years. Okay. Now these are all the markets we're in, in this portfolio. These are the positions we have right now. Okay, this, this particular sheet is from this morning. Okay. So right now, these are all the markets we're in. These are our positions. These are all the entry dates. Now, the entry dates, some of them will look, wait, you've been in too, too much. Well, some of these, you know, we have to roll in, like options expire, futures have to expire well, and they roll into different time frames. So many of these trades have been on for an extended period of time, but because we just rolled, we put the new rollover date. But you can see the entry price, that we have on these trades. You can see the market price now. And as you look down here, here's the profit and loss for every open trade. And the ones that are shaded are what we call the mega trades, okay? And these are trades that are 3,000 or plus in profit and still going. Now, what you'll be looking at is our what we call our 28K. This trades uh, 18 markets, okay? Every day, we're in the market every day. We are never out, we are either long or short. We are never out of the market. So the markets of this trades are the currencies, micros, uh, grains, micros, uh, the four indexes, Dow, Russell, NASDAQ, 
S and P crude oil, mini crude oil. It trades 10 year notes. So you've got 18 markets here that are always either in the market, long or short. There's all of our entries. And of course we've got some mega trades here. Here we consider a mega trade of 500, but of course we've got 18 and 37 and then 800, but here's every single profit and loss. Now here is what you get from me every Saturday, okay? I send you a full detail sheet, okay, with an equity curve, okay? Now here is, here is the 28K, I'm gonna show it to you live, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna drag it down here, let me make it bigger so you can see it, okay? Here's a 28K, okay? And this is, this portfolio is up since inception, okay? It's up 132%, okay? And that's based on using three times margin. It's actually up more than that percentage wise, but we require, we, well, we don't require, we'd like you to have three times margin, in your account. So this account really is only using $9,900, okay? Uh, and we want you to have like 29,000, 28,000 so that you can cover the drawdown if it happens to be the first trades out of the box. You just don't know when, you know, markets never announce themselves what's going to be next, okay? So we trade 18 markets. Right now we're 11 and seven. Okay? Our average win is about 720. Our average loss is about 161, okay? Right now, Okay, and this, this portfolio is in the biggest drawdown right now is 7.3, 7 okay? Now, what you get from me every Saturday at 3 a.m., all right, is this is every week, okay? This is, these are the results, and I don't hide from the losers, okay? I show you everything, okay? Every week, our, the results are sent, and you can see this is good. This will be the final when we get to Friday, which is the 26th, but here is the actual equity curve that we use. Why do we keep back here? First of all, everybody wants to know where they stand, number one. Number two, this is what allows us <clears throat> to, to press up or to move our portfolios around a little bit because we like to add when it's mathematically sound to add, okay? And again, that's what we're really gonna, it really comes down to, every, because every decision we make comes down to math. Now here is the 17K. It's a little bit more conservative than the 28. It takes out the crude oil market, it takes out the natural gas market, and it takes out the 10-year note market. So it's basically all micros, okay? This portfolio is about $6,000. The profit factor here right now is at two, okay? And you've got the same equity curve. Of course, here we're making new highs, okay? And you can see we just made an all-time new high a couple of weeks ago, and we're right now we're above that for this week at this particular point. Uh, this portfolio is up 158% since it started, okay? And again, same theory. It's based on three times margin, so the percentage gain. But again, I don't really care about that. I want you to just understand it and know that you're always going to get the straight results of what we do. That's, that's more important to me is you understand you're going to get exactly what I tell you you're going to get each and every week, okay? And you can see it and understand it. And then this is what we have. This is our 5K a portfolio again so we can have a lower bar to entry and we just made new highs there on the fifth as well and of course this has a product factor of seven point whatever and again you can see it just made new equity highs so those are some of the looks at the portfolios now every morning at about 3 a.m you will get an update from me okay and it will say new trade or it will say no trade but you will get an update and you'll get a text every single day except for Monday because Saturday, if there is a new trade, you get it on Saturday. So you'll know what to do for Monday or Sunday night if you choose. But everybody gets a trade at the same time. Now, we have some letter direction trading done. So basically, they do all the trades at 7.30 a.m. Eastern. Now, those of you who understand, you can put the trades on whenever you want, once you get them. But, you know, typically, many people wait till they be, they're done from the, on the letter direction, which is you know, at, at 7.30 in the morning Eastern time. But this was the profit factor of this coming in at 17.6. And they do go up quite a bit. Uh, and, and very rarely are they ever below two. Okay. Now, so these reports come out every morning, 3 a.m. The update that you get. And of course, it's texted to you as well. Now, this is my port. This is one of my portfolios. Okay, this was the start here. Now, I started this, just to give full disclosure, I started this portfolio with 15000 okay? 
because I've got seven futures accounts that I'm using, and I just want to make sure I had a representation of the 28K. Okay, so this is the 28K, my own personal 28K. This was from February. I had 22,000 in that account, so it was up 50% back in February. The equity curve suggested that I should press it. Okay, so I did, and I started to press it. So I got it up to two contracts. This is April 4th. I was at 34,000. Okay, now on uh, May, what May, June, with uh, June 24th, it's at 42,000. Okay, and I'm, I'm in the process now of going to press it again to three contracts each. Okay, because again, based on where it is on the equity curve, and that's that's all we're looking at. Okay, based on the equity curve here. Okay, we're down towards the bottom, which tells me that we're, we're, we're due to make another run because every time we've made a drawdown low, we've gone on to make new highs. And that's how we determine when to press, okay? I also do a minimum of one training session a month, sometimes two or three, especially when I get a new group. Um, you know, I may do a few more just to make sure everybody has an exact understanding because again, we don't know when the market's gonna change. So if somebody says, well, when do I get in? How do I enter? If you sign up today, you get in tomorrow. Okay, that's what I tell you. Because again, I have no idea when the market are gonna change. You know, if you go back a little bit and just some real examples I like to share with you. Let me just take this off and make it a little bit longer term chart. Okay. Now, back in in last October, okay, Amazon had reported their earnings. And a lot of my people were panicking. We were long the NASDAQ. We've been long the NASDAQ for uh, almost all year. We were, we were long the NASDAQ in 2019, 48 weeks out of the 52. In the meantime, Amazon came out with their earnings and the stock got clouded. Okay. Said, oh no, we got to sell our NASDAQ. Sell our NASDAQ. I said, look, I'm not doing anything. You should do, you should do nothing until the, the signal changes. Why try to do it early? Let the signal change. Of course, I know some did. But of course, the result was, is those who did, okay, got out here, okay, and of course, it went on to be, if you were in the big contract, it went on to be another $50,000 in profit for those who got out. We do not exit until we're supposed to exit, because again, it goes back to the same principle. If you follow the rules, you're putting yourself in the highest probability to be successful. I, Bubba, like everyone else in the room, I can't thank you enough for the opportunity you have available for me. My future account is doubled. I'm waiting to add contracts and the opportunity time to a pullback. And again, why is it? Because again, that's what we want to do. That's how we grow. We don't want to grow by putting in all of our money at once. We want to organically grow these accounts by profits that we're making and putting them back to work. Okay. Now, some of the facts I like to talk about, I contend that no one knows as to why markets do anything. Hence, it is impossible to predict future prices with any consistency or accuracy. Those that think they can forecast are fools and will soon find themselves broke. Gurus can gullible traders in believing they have a special knowledge of the future. Unfortunately, 99% of all trading is based on false promises. And this is why so very few obtain large wealth in the trading game. You want to make money trading. You simply buy when prices are going up. You sell when they're going down. It is that simple and basic. But this concept evades most because they think they will make more if they know. And it's just the opposite. The less you know, we cannot miss a major move. That's the, that's the key factor. There's no way we can miss a move. That is what sets us apart. <clears throat> we, can, we also cannot let a losing trade run. But it also sets us apart. Nothing subjective, mathematical precision without human intervention. Now, somebody had sent me in some questions when I was going to do this, and, I, and the, here's the questions that they had. I have a margin account with inter interactive brokers. Could I trade this account, or would it be preferable to open a separate account for futures? Again, that's entirely up to you, okay? If you want to mix it in another account with Thinkorswim or with, you know, IB or anybody else, that's fine, okay? Again, to me, it doesn't matter. You go wherever you want, wherever you're comfortable. If I open a separate account trading one 28K, how much should I fund it with? I have not traded futures before. I have no idea how their margin works. The 28K covers up to three times margin. The real cash requirement is about $9,000. Okay, that's what you're trading with, and that's including the margin. We want you to have three times the margin 
because again, we are accounting right from day one for a potential drawdown. Because if you start with 9,000 and you get a drawdown right away, you're gonna most likely panic and get out way too soon and not be able to understand and sustain through the market, which will create a much bigger headache for you in the long run. I'm Central Standard Time and not really a morning person. So your trade alerts come out at three to 4 a.m. I wouldn't be making trades until eight to or nine, but that'd be okay, it doesn't matter. Again, entry price is unimportant. It does not matter for what we're doing. We're not looking to make one tick or $10. Every trade we put on, we're looking for what we call the mega trade, okay? There is no small winner, okay? We're not looking to make a little. We're looking to make a, we're looking at home runs on every trade, okay? Now we don't hit home runs on every trade, but that's the objective. So you know, some people up in California, they don't get in until 10 o'clock in the morning. Hey, whatever, you don't have to get up for me. I just put them out there because I have people all over the world that are trading this, that are having a great time doing it. But I decided to use CTG to automate trading. What is the cost? Their, their cost is very in line with any online broker. The auto trading is a touch higher, but it, it, it's not enough to make a difference, okay? Because again, we're not active. You will never get a trade during the day. Right? You, you, if you don't have a trade, when I send them at 3 a.m., you're not having, there's no trade that day, okay? There's never an adjustment during the day, okay? We always wait until the end of day to make anything. If I start on the monthly thing, can I switch to annual order? Of course. Look, I'm as easy as it comes when it comes to this business. I'm the one that does all the customer service. I'm the one who talks to everybody. I'm the one who emails everybody. You can do whatever you want with me, okay? Can you advise me when you think it's a preferable time to initiate positions? And again, that goes back to the day you sign up. If it's early enough, you get in that day. If it's not, you get in the next day. There's no way for me to tell you. And those who try to time it always end up regretting the fact because one thing I know for sure, if you got in today and we reverse tomorrow, so what? So you, you just got in and you reverse. Not a big deal. Okay. Now these are real results. Okay. The 28K is up 55% this year to date and 106 lifetime. 70K is up 71% year to date and 118% lifetime. Okay. So again, I would love to have you, you know, come and join me all right, in what we do. And, and take care of all the things that you would like to do and get put you in a position to really start to understand the markets, understand trading, okay? And be a part of, of my team because that's what we do. I mean, we retain just slightly over 90% of our members hang with us. So again, that's because we're successful and we get it done. So if you wanna take advantage and join me, okay? Here's what you gotta do, right? So. Our futures portfolio uh, management, we give monthly training, weekly, weekly and daily reports, plus not included here. I do a Monday night strategy call every Monday. I will throw in here that you can join me. We talk markets every Monday for about an hour, okay? Regularly, it's 199 a month. Today is 129 per month. And if you wanna get the monthly, you can go to bubbatrain.com forward slash micro. If you wanna get the annual, which is usually 2000, okay? Today is 1400 and that's bubbatrading.com micro a year, okay? And, and, and that you can do uh, anytime you want. You can join if you want to try the monthly and convert over, you can go there. And that's what we do. But again, it always comes back to what? The simplicity of following the rules and not worrying about minute to minute market movement, okay? Hold on one second. Hold on a second. That's my mom and I got to make sure there's not a problem. Hold on one second. Sorry, guys. I know, I know this is not good in, in the middle of a presentation, but she's got to come first. So I'm back. If she'll answer, I hope. I hope she gets it. Okay. Raleigh, do we have some questions here that... Uh, yeah, know? well, you know, it's interesting. I, I like the way Bubba already preformed some questions because he anticipated several of the ones that, that came in there. But there's a, there's a couple that I noticed here that I know, Bubba, that you, uh, that you covered these, but it's probably worth reinforcing. The first one was... You know, it, does that, do, do people need any kind of special charts or indicators or whatnot to be able to effectively apply what you're sharing? They don't need a chart. They don't need anything. They need to be able to follow rules and, and either use a, a platform to enter their trades. Now, again, I've got, I've got all kinds of platforms, right? I mean, you know, I've got my futures platform, which I just popped up. You can see that trading, okay? I okay. Got, but I don't, you don't need any of this, okay? You can simply... If you're using the auto trade or a lot of direction trading, you can, they'll do it for you, okay? So you just have to see your statement. 
we do no chart. Okay. Again, we're not trying to, we're not going to judge anything based on what's going on in the market today. Right. They can, they need no special tools, nothing but to read, to know how to read the up that I send it and make the proper trade when we send it. And it's that, again, it goes back to that simple, nothing fancy, no indicators. I mean, I've never used indicators in my entire life. So I, I got you. So in other words, if you, basically speaking, if you had access to a dome, you can place the orders and that's all you need. That's correct. You don't even actually even in a dome. I mean, there are there are platforms like uh, you know if you use here. I'll, I'll just drag this one over real quick since you asked. Um, yeah, there's a there's places that use a ticket like this. Okay, that you just you, you type in the order right here. Okay, you type, yeah. Okay, I got you. Okay, so again, you can do you know whatever whatever is easier for you. You know, some people are they like to trade all day, they like to watch. Hey, no problem. You can do that too. But again, you need nothing fancy here at all. You just have to be able to execute the trade, and and that's all you have to do. And so then the, it brings a, it, it's something else. There's a couple more questions I have here that I noted, uh, uh, Bubba. The other one was like, you know, the, the guy had mentioned, look, I'm I sleep or you know I tend to sleep late. You send these out at 3 a.m. in the morning. Um, and once again, I've not seen what you sent out there, but it, I, I don't think you're recommending that people place the trades right away. Are you recommending, you said there was a letter of direction, people that'll place the trades at 730. Are these things to open up if the market opens or it's basically when you hit this price target, you know, that's when your order is going to execute and here's your stop loss and here's your profit actually, target. We actually don't have a target. The, what the order will say, okay. The okay. Order will say, go here, let's, let's go back to it. I make it simple. Then I don't have, then I don't have to explain it. Here, the, the order will say reverse from long to short British pound, and these are the portfolios that the British pound is in. That's it. The price again. Price is immaterial. Okay. Any time is immaterial. You can do it any time you get to the order, because again, as I said, I've got guys in Australia, Japan, China, uh, Sweden. I get them everywhere, and nobody's at this on the same time schedule. It doesn't matter because. There are times you think you're outsmarting the market. Like a lot of people say, well, I got to get them on Sunday night. And I go, well, you can. I mean, you might want to relax. But of course, <laughs> they do it. And then, of course, the market reverses overnight and they could have got better. But again, you know, that never matters when you get in. Okay? I only send them that early because, A, I get up that early. Okay. So, and I want everybody to have them in case they're up and they want to get them done. Okay. I got you. So I, I misunderstood there. I thought you were recommending an entry price of some kind. No, no, I don't. I don't yeah. price right. because to me, again, these are not price sensitive. Because what you're, if you make them price sensitive, what you're doing is you're putting yourself in jeopardy. You're going to miss a trade. Versus, I just want you to be able to get in. Okay. Sure. And so I think the other thing is this that I think I think you've answered the question, but I want to answer. I want to ask it anyway to make sure it's covered. And that is that. Uh, you know, so from this perspective, and people can use any broker you want Anybody, for this. You can uh, you can use Ninja, you can use Thinkorswim, you can use E-Trade. They all they all can handle what I need to do. Okay, right. there is no issue. We make it available that if you want letter of direction trading, you know, people maybe have never traded futures before, they have a concern, they want to get done. Hey, no problem. But if you don't look, I have no allegiance. To only my members do I care about. I want them to be happy and successful. Wherever they want to go is good with me. Okay. Uh, some other questions that are in here. Um, is this something where you'll teach us the rules or is this just really a, an alert service? I will. No, no. I, I, will, I will teach you the rules. In fact, I'm doing this afternoon. I'm doing a, uh, oh, hold on. I got a special request. Wait. <laughs> I'm in my grunge, but I got my, I got to say, what's up, everybody? Uh, so, those of you uh, don't know, this is my daughter and business partner, Nikki. I knew who that was. I, was, right I, was, I was watching. Yeah, I got, I got you. So, at the end of the day, you, you get, um, uh, I got to, two beautiful women, I got distracted. I lost my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm, I'm, now I'm drooling. What, 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 was the, what was the question again? Okay. No, I, I, I think the question was, is it just an alert service or do you no, teach we, people? We yeah. I was going to say, I'm do, actually, I'm doing a training this afternoon. After, later this afternoon, I'm doing a training today. But one thing I will tell everybody, everything I do is recorded as well. Okay. You have an inventory 
in your account when you become a member that all the recordings I've done, even if they were before your time, are going to be listed there for you. You can go back and review anytime you want. Also, just so you know, I have a habit of answering emails within five minutes, right? No email sits in my inbox, okay? So if you have a question, you're gonna get an answer within five minutes that you send it. And it's gonna be coming from me, because as they say, I'm a one man gang. I'm a one man wrecking crew. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing the uh, impromptu live sessions? I know I've seen you a few times on Ticker Talker and you'll pop in, do YouTube. How often do you do that? I do, uh, I do Ticker Talker every day, which is live on Facebook. I do it every day at uh, two to three, two to two thirty Eastern time. Okay. I actually trade live. Okay. Which I'm using a different model, just an active trading model. Uh, but, but we've done pretty well there, but it, again, you can come there anytime you want and learn. Um, and again, I do at least two to three trainings a month for everybody. Okay. You know, again, I promised one, but I, again, I, what we, I, I determine how I'm going to do them by the questions that I'm reading. Okay. I can tell when, when people are getting a little bit confused. And it, again, I, I want to make sure that everybody understands it because at the end of the day, it comes down to money. And everybody want, I don't want anybody to lose money that they shouldn't lose. So I want you to learn and understand exactly what we're trying to accomplish, which is why I also included the Monday night call because on Mondays, I actually do some manual chart reading. I talk about markets and the reasons that markets get driven because again, we go back to one thing. It's always about price. That's why, that's why our model is, is so well. The indicator is built between me and three guys that, that it's 120 years in this business as floor traders, as, as screen traders. And so it, it reads what we can't read. It reads it what we can't read as fast, right? Because you have to be much faster for the changes. So again, that's what we look for. So I want to make sure we understand exactly what we're doing rule-based and the, the, the reasons that we do things. So I, I'm pretty, as you know, I'm pretty communicative and trying to make sure of understanding. Of course, that's why I've got 90% of my members still here. Sure. A couple other questions have come in here. Uh, Bubba, one of the questions here is, you know, um, when you were, uh, I guess, basically when you were showing your results, the question was, are these profit margins, are they based on cash only or cash plus margin? The, the results I showed actually were based on with a three times margin. So again, if you took, these are actual results. So if you, well, actually, I'm sorry, I had these here. I got, got to remember where I put everything. You know, I, I do, if you don't know, I do everything kind of right off the top, right? So <laughs> uh, these are actual profits based on three times margin. So if you took the actual margin, which is only 5,700, these profits would be like 400%. But we want to count in three times because it's very important to me. Th this is where in, in trading, this has been where I've seen more failures from when I was, you know, I used to back traders as well on the trading board. You know, nobody came to work as a clerk. They wanted to, you know, they wanted to be a clerk so they could learn, but then they wanted you to back them. They go on their own. And I've seen more failure because of capital requirements. And because you start with too little bit and you try to get too big. And of course you have one bad trade and now all of a sudden you're panicking. So if you put the right amount of money in, you can withstand the first drawdown. So this is based on the full account. So it's a pretty healthy profit percentage, but I don't, listen, I'm not interested in making them exaggerated. I want people to see what they can actually expect. And of course you saw it within my own portfolio, which I show, I mean, it was live. I mean, you know, this is from this morning, okay, June 24th at, uh, at 3.30 in the morning, okay? Uh, and that was, that's my portfolio. Okay, that's one of them. Okay, I mean, I've got, I've got the 226 times multiple contracts. I've got the 72, I've got the 28, 17. I've got a total of six of my own. Okay, uh, but again, they're all, you see, I took out my account numbers. <laughs> but again, I'm, I want people to do well. That's my, my whole lot in life is the same reason I had the high school program. Because again, I'm a big believer in educating those so that we can all be in the same boat and grow to the next level together. It's a lot more fun to grow together and have everybody make money and not have to deal with, you know, a lot of minutia is which happens very often in the world of business. Absolutely. Well, I think uh, guys, we have a couple more minutes here. If there's some additional questions uh, that you want to ask here before we let Bubba go. 
And I was fast, wasn't I? Man, I tell you what, you covered a lot of material. You did super. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I, I do, you know, I slow down too. I do talk fast, but I, I, I always want to make sure there's enough time to have questions. You know, sure. Personally, I'm used to doing calls for like two hours because, you know, when I don't have a time slot, you know, I can do a lot of stuff in between. You know, like yeah. last night I did my hedging, it was, it was, it, the call ended up being two hours and 10 minutes. But at the end of the day, it's, it's all about you guys, right? You got to understand, and again, whether you come aboard or not, okay, the important thing you have to remember is you have to understand the discipline it takes to be a successful trader. Sure. Those but who are not disciplined will never survive because, and the worst thing you can ever do, especially in my system, is change what the model tells you to do. Be right one time, and it'll ruin you forever. Because you'll always think you can be right. <laughs> yeah. That's so true. Um, we do have people that ask us typically, um, how long are you in a trade, or how many hours during the day do you have to monitor the trade? How does that work? Uh, Pat, I never look half the time. I know. I, I, I'll go days without looking at the portfolio. I don't ever have to be there. I only the only time I have to do anything is if I get a new trade. Mm -hmm. Like we no new trades today. If, if, if I wasn't going to be here today, I'd be out in the golf course. Right? Okay. I don't have to look at it because I'm not changing anyway. So if it's going great, great. I'll come back and I'll, I'll make a lot of money. If there's a problem. I don't have to be aggravated all day that it's going against me for that day because the markets go both sides, both ways, right? There's no panacea that they only go up. They go on both sides of the market. So I never look. I don't have to look. I mean, I've got, I've got a couple of small IRAs that I've never, I haven't looked at since they started. Okay. You know, I have CTG trades in for me, IRAs in the futures market. I don't, I've never looked. I, I put the money in. I haven't looked since. I, I won't look until I retire. Okay. <laughs> people that, you know, would stress because I'm one of those that I would just massage it all day. So I just have to set it and leave it alone. Set and forget. You, you believe me, go enjoy yourself <laughs> and, and then take the day off if you're in because this is not, I don't want you to be active. I don't want you to get frustrated and think about it because again, as we saw, I mean, even, even what was it, Monday night, you know, when Peter Navarro said something, you were having been watching, you might've panicked out of your position when the market dropped 500. By the time you caught your breath and made the mistake, the market's already up again. So we don't want to be active. This is not an active method. This is a way you're playing in the calculation and the probabilities of the market. Okay. That's all we care about. So again, most of us don't ever look. Okay. Now I do have a chat room, you know, that, that helps people as well. You come in, you get to go in the chat room. Uh, I send uh, a video update every day, about a four to five minute video every day around um, 10 o'clock in my time, 11 o'clock Eastern time. Just give you a quick view of the market. But again, as far as trading, you don't have to do anything. You get, you get the trades, you put them on. Once you're on, go, go away, go, go, go away, go on vacation, do whatever you want. All you got to be able to is check your email and be able to make an adjustment if it comes. But we've had, I don't know, in the last, I don't know, month and a half, maybe five new trades the whole time and just been in the same position. Sure. Well, that's great, Bubba. Well, I think once again, thank you so much for your time today. It was a fast hour. You covered a lot of great information and the, and the comments, you know, the comments are overwhelmingly positive folks. We'd really do encourage you. And, you know, you said something earlier about, you know, patience and you have to be disciplined. That has been a common theme all day. Hasn't it, Pat? I mean, and Nikki, every speaker that's come on here has echoed the same thing that you have said, Todd, which is, you know, have a plan, understand what's going on and stick to things and just be disciplined in what you do and trust them that discipline. Now, it takes time sometimes to build up the confidence to do that. But that's why we have these experts here to kind of maybe take a short, take, you know, take a, uh, a shortcut, if you will. You know, I, think I have one comment for everybody since I still have a couple minutes, but I have one thing to tell everybody, and this is the most important thing. If any of you play games, okay, like gin, poker, backgammon, or bridge, okay, the better player will always win because those are all those four games are based on math, as is trading. Okay, so if you think of trading as a game. Okay, your objective is to get the highest probability trade on, knowing that it's not always going to win, but knowing that you are a favorite 
two win. And if you make that same trade over and over again, just like you play bridge the correct way or whatever, you play them over and over again the correct way, you're going to make money. Not on every trade. Not a, you're not going to win every hand of a pocket aces. But if you play it right all the time, you will win money. Well said. Great way to bring this to a close. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. And uh, have a great uh, day. Sorry for the phone interruption in the middle, but have a great day. And thanks for No, having. we love that you got mom number one. That's okay. right. She got the private line. When that rings, I got to go. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That's great. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Bye. So that was a terrific presentation and we appreciated Bubba's time. And once again, for those that have asked here, his special offer for his futures portfolio management program, just go to westmarktrading.com forward slash Bubba and uh, everything that he shared with you will be covered in that link.